So for today's episode, we're here with Shirley Song. She's an incredible composer. She works closely with the Dana Brothers and with some of the composers that we'll be talking about today. You're from Sydney and you come from a musical family, which is, they have a theater background, right? Uh, my grandparents on my mom's side were um, theater directors and actors and um, playwrights. So I sort of grew up, you know, with my grand- grandparents on my mom's side. So I grew up actually acting a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I mean, I, w- I was always into music. Um, but yeah, and then I just decided, I was just like, music. Uh-huh. <laughs> when was like the first, like as a kid, did you know you wanted to be like a composer? Or what were the childhood dreams that you had? not specifically a composer I knew I I always knew I wanted to do something creative you know for a period of time I was like oh I think I want to be an actor um and then I was like oh film is kind of cool and then somehow uh, I had a great I went to a great school that had a great uh music program in high school and it was my I had like one-on-one composition teachers and everything lessons and it was my composition teacher who was like hey like what do you what do you want to do after um, high school I was like I don't know (laughs) and he's like you should you should apply it to the um, Sydney Conservatorium of Music. You should do composition. And it was then I was like, oh, wow, I didn't think that was an option for me at the time. So I was like, hey, that's kind of cool. And I went back, I talked to my parents. Um, and I'm very lucky because my parents are super supportive. Um, you know, they wouldn't, they're not like the stereotypical sort of Asian parents who are like, no, you've got to do medicine or law. Yeah, my, my parents were like, oh, cool, go for it. Um, doesn't matter what you do, as long as you put in 110%, like, do whatever you want that's awesome but whatever you choose like you, you've just got to do it well right that was my other question was i figured since they're creatives they would be more supportive than than as usual yeah. um yeah i mean my grandparents were always supportive i mean it's funny because both my parents aren't in the creative field you know so my my dad i mean <laughs> both of them are incredibly intelligent and highly educated I mean they both have PhDs and you know and my dad's professor and my mom's this um amazing boss lady you know she runs her own sort of company and everything um and I you know I think my dad always wanted me to sort of be an academic you know he was always like you should get a PhD like being a being a teacher's great um and I you know this I I think being a teacher's great too but it's just not what I want to do right now you know Mm mm-hmm when did you realize that it was um like when did you choose the actual career was it you know when you were applying to berkeley or how did you figure out that that's what you wanted to do um i i i think i really decided i wanted to do music it was after i graduated from my first from from my composition degree uh at the sydney conservatorium because during then i still i was i think i grew up a bit later than a lot of people um like i just I knew this is what, yeah, I was like, I knew this is what I wanted to do, but um, I didn't have any specific goals or anything. I was like, oh, music, great, you know, writing music. Um, But yeah, I think it was after I got my composition degree where I realized um, I've actually, I've always really loved um, being a part of storytelling, you know, I mean, growing up acting and being in the theater and everything. And I think that was just something that sort of came naturally to me, for me too. So um it was probably during my last year um at the conservatorium and then you know one year out of school i was like doing freelance gigs here and there it was like my first time going hey i want to do um i started composing for theater and then i was like hey i want to get into sort of film and everything and i started honing um you know my my chops you know with logic that it was probably during those two years and then i was like okay i want to take this seriously um but i don't know where to start either i want to go to the states i don't know where to start and um i was just researching and then i came across berkeley and i was like okay that's where i'm gonna go 